Hi, you guys. This is Prophetess of Bill Sabrina Acapo, and I am back again, Bill, the leading of the Holy Spirit with another prophetic word for you guys. And as with any prophetic word, you would absolutely want to go to the Lord in prayer, testing the spirit to affirm and confirm that perhaps this prophetic word is for you. Holy Spirit, I invite you in to take full charge, to take full control, to take full access. I decrease as you increase. Allow me to bring forth your word with your glory, with your power, with your, with your grace, with your mercy. Telling your story so your name can be glorified for the winning of souls to the gospel of Jesus Christ. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, that I do pray. Amen, 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 and amen. You guys did know I would be back tonight. But when the Lord speaks, hey, I walk in obedience to eat the good of the land and the land of the living. And the title of this prophetic word is I'm taking the load off. I'm taking the load off. And I felt some of you guys' pain um, and some of the things that you are going through. And the Lord wanted me to come as a divine helper on today to bring this word, to give some peace, just to give some clarity and just some tranquility and some positive vibes to your life. So you guys, I heard the Holy Spirit say, my yoke is easy. That I'm taking the hurt, I'm taking the pain, I'm taking the weight, I'm taking the burden, I'm taking the situations, I'm taking the problems, I'm taking the circumstances. Holy Spirit is further said, I'm taking the loads off. That I'm your burden bearer. I'm your heavy loader. And I want you to give everything to me. I want you to take everything out of your hands because I had a loss. This week myself, I had been going through some things. I had lost one of my best friends that I worked with for five years. So it was very devastating and life is going to be life and then you're going to have some situations, circumstances happen in your life. But the Lord is wanting you to keep your focus and keep your eyes on the prize, which is him. The mark of the high calling, knowing that he is with you, knowing that he would never leave you nor forsake you. Once again, that he is your burden bearer. He's your heavy loader. He's wanting you to give everything to him and know that it's going to be his plan that will continue to stand. It's going to be his word that's will never lead you astray, that will never lead you the wrong way. Jeremiah 29, 11, for I know the plans and thoughts that I think toward you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper, to prosper you and not to harm you, to give you a future and an expected end. So I just wanted to bring this short prophetic word on today to let somebody know that everything's going to be okay, that the Lord has his righteous right hands on it. He has his righteous right hands on you. And he gave me Matthew 11 and 30. For my yoke is easy to bear and my burden is light. And I just heard the song, I've gone through the fire and I've been through the flood. You guys can place in the comments of who's singing it because I'm not sure who's singing. I think it's Kirk Franklin. Um, I've been broken into pieces, seen lightning flashing from above. But through it all, I remember that he loves me and he cares and he'll never put more on me than I can bear. I think it's Kirk Frank Franklin. That he would never put anything on you that you can bear. The Lord wants you to know that he has given you strength. He has given you power in this hour. And you will be able to sustain. Because the Lord is wanting you to know that he's making radical changes in your life. And that your life is doing a turnaround. That your life is at that turning, turning point. That your life will never be the same. That the Lord is saying you are coming out unsketched. You are coming out without the smell of smoke. Just like the three Hebrew boys did, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they were thrown into the fiery furnace. All because they wouldn't believe in the gods that they were telling to believe in, nor worship the gods that they were telling them to worship. They worship the original God, the only God, the true God. And that is Jesus Christ. And the Lord ended up being that fourth man in that fire and bringing them out unsketched and without the smell of smoke. They have been the same for you. This is your time of peace. This is your time of rest. And the Lord is saying, give it all to me. Cast all your cares. Cast all your anxieties. 
upon me and I will deliver thee and thou wilt glorify me. The Lord is saying, surrender it all over to him. Remember, place it in his hands. Everything. Everything that you're concerned about. Every situation, every circumstance, every problem, every care, every weight. Whatever it is, everything. Take it out of your hands because he's already bled and died for this. He's already taking on those burdens. So know that they are not yours, that they are his. Those, once again, those worries, those anxieties, that oppression, that depression, everything. The Lord is saying everything for somebody they need to know who is going through problems with. I hear problems with just your bills, problems with just your vehicles, problems with just your rent, problems with just all kind of all around circumstances that you're going through. The Lord is saying the weight is too heavy, so you need to take it off out of your hands and place it in his hands. Give it to him. He's readily waiting, readily accessible, readily available for you to give it over to him for the sur surrender all over to him. Just give it to him. He's the only, he's your very present help in time of trouble. First Peter five and seven, casting all your cares, your anxieties, all your worries and all your concerns once and for all on him. He longs to take on them, to give you that peace, to give you that comfort, to give you that love, to give you that tranquility for he cares about you with the deepest affection and he watches over you very carefully. That he would never leave you nor forsake you. That pain in your heart, let it go. And the Lord is creating in you a clean heart, even a new heart. And he is changing that heart posture. And he's renewing a steadfast spirit within you. I am taking the load off. Every problem, every situation, every circumstance. Give it to me. I'm your burden bearer. I'm your heavy loader. It's not yours. The battle does not belong to you, but it belongs to me. I'm taking a load off, so give it to me. That said, the spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father God, I just thank you so much for bringing this word forth today. I just availed myself on this platform, along with the family tolling completely to your throne of grace. Just asking you to intervene, placing a declaration on every word, connecting by faith, connecting by your grace and your mercy, connected by your glory and by your power, asking you to just make a way out of nowhere where there seems to be no way, knowing that you are taking the load off, knowing that you are a burden bearer, knowing that you are a heavy loader, knowing that you would never leave us nor forsake us, knowing that you have us in complete and total confidence that you're bringing peace and tranquility and love to the best of your ability, knowing that you would never leave us nor forsake us, knowing that you got us from every end, that you're in front of us and you're behind us with your favor, bringing everything back into position, bringing everything back into its proper order, bringing everything back into alignment, decent and in order with the assignment, knowing and believing and receiving and trusting Holy Spirit, that you have taken the pain out of our hearts, that you have given us a clear mind, that you have given us discernment as never before that you have opened the doors that you have brought about turnaround that you have brought about changing and rearranging knowing that it is here that it is crystal clear that if we had just avail ourselves to you and just place every circumstance everything that weighed us down everything that hold us back knowing that you've already made those changes you've already rearranged it that you've already done it for us that is already in your hands. That is according to your plans. It's according to that Jeremiah 29 and 11 that you have already done, that we have already won it, that we already got the victory. That everything is going to be all right. And that load is going to be light. And that load is going to be easier. And that yoke and that burden is going to be broken. We declare and we decree and we command you me and seal every word, placing a declaration on every word that is by the blood of Master Jesus, these blessings we're asking that we do pray. Amen, 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 and amen. I'm taking the load off. That said, the spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, take care. I love you guys. Always praying for you guys. We will most certainly talk on the next. God richly bless you. Bye-bye.